The central office for Lafourche Fire District 3 took some heavy hits from Hurricane Ida. On this day, rain comes through parts of the roof, but enough is intact to keep operations going. It's where many members of this firefighting team are sleeping every night. In the daytime, it's an office. At nighttime, the bed comes down. Mary Rotolo is the supervisor of communications. When the hurricane tore through Lafourche Parish, it didn't spare the homes of firefighters. Like so many other families, they too are facing a housing crisis. So at this point we have 33 firefighters that are displaced um, and looking for housing. There's no places to rent. There's no hotels. The hotels were damaged. I try to come every day after work and try to salvage what I can. For more than 30 years, Rotolo shared this home in Golden Meadow with her husband until he died last year. Among the few things the storm didn't destroy, are the floral arrangements she made for his grave. And I went to see him, to talk to him after all this happened, and he's in like a, um, a section where it's normally a wind tunnel. All the flowers were gone out of the whole cemetery, except his. He had one vase with one flower in it. Mary Rotolo's son lived right next door. Take a look, the hurricane took the roof right off. She says as she's considering whether or not to rebuild, she has to consider her son in that process. He has a collection of stuffed animals. With special needs children and limited money from her husband's life insurance, Rotolo has tough choices to make. And my two boys are always going to need somebody to take care of them. And I wonder what's going to happen to them when I'm not here anymore. So in my mind, I have to take that money that I have and use it wisely. And I'm not sure rebuilding here is wise. Here's our kitchen. Firefighters can often respond to any emergency, but creating housing is beyond their capabilities. Their needs are specific and simple. We're hoping that FEMA steps up to at least let us stay in our community. Don't house us two hours away. This is a group that prides itself in giving help. They are not accustomed to asking for it. But this hurricane is forcing them and so many others to let go of the past and accept a new reality. Reporting for CBS News, Tom Trung, Golden Meadow, Louisiana.